Good morning, folks. Let's start with quakes, where a larger rumble indeed hit the southeast Pacific, but luckily these are sticking to Easter Island and not the South American coastline. Largest one downgraded from about 6.6. .6. We've also got South Atlantic shaking and more quakes in Iceland. Let's come to our latest sun-diving comet from the bottom right. It indeed triggered another solar eruption coming out of the top left of the central disk. Unlike the last two we've seen, this comet appears to have survived all the way to the corona. The sun continues in mid-sea range. Slight uptick in flare activity and multiple non-Earth-directed CMEs are surging inner heliospheric energy and we're at the edge of a radiation storm at Earth's poles. The solar wind speed is dropping fast in yellow and, as we often see, the particles begin bunching up and we're taking the higher density readings in orange, but these are not shock waves and the instability at Earth is quite low. It truly looks like the sun should be flaring more, but veterans of this channel know she gets shy when facing Earth. Delta-class magnetics in the incoming northern sunspots split down the middle, with a lone, tiny delta area at the bottom of the largest umbra on the south incoming. Thus far, they've dared not rock and roll in our direction. It was a calm day on the Earth-facing disk. The ESA has a good article and animations out about the Iceland volcano eruption and what it's produced, including its spread of sulfur dioxide from Greenland to northern Norway. Those who heard about the ozone story now have a NASA science cast explanation video, Pollutants Mysteriously Numerous. Rosetta scores a point for the Electric Universe as the dirty snowball turns out to be a dark rock ball, darker than charcoal, with the only hydrogen and oxygen detected being in the corona. That's a good read. While this story is highly biased and very one-sided, it makes great points that elucidate why global warming predictions have faltered for about 19 years now. Coming quickly to the drought look for an update out west, the water levels are dropping. This is not good. Let's come to the Western Pacific. We'll begin monitoring two systems, one readying for a run at South Japan and the other west of the Philippines and headed for either China or Vietnam. We're also setting eyes in the Atlantic where a low is coming off the African coastline and moving west. We've also got to loosely monitor the Georgia coastline for development. The major hurricane, Norbert, now just west of Baja and still heading north. The tracks mostly show this one coming on land and shooting up into the United States. It has been shearing that way for days already, partially adding to the heat and moisture already shifting northward to the convergence line. Steady as she goes and moving east. This was the cloud explosion seen last night along that line and we'll expect the same thing tonight complementing the flood warnings in the southwest. Top alerts tonight come to New England. Two systems to watch in Europe, same one in the southeast, now fights for the spotlight with a low just offshore in the Atlantic, drawing a wide zone that doesn't resemble much of a convergence. Nevertheless, we've got some sporadic storm warnings throughout the area again tonight. Check your local forecasts. Low to the southwest, pushing moisture ashore. High pressure protecting southeastern Australia, but with a minor low to the north of that, and a much larger one to the east. The precipitation follows the lows, point by point. Folks, we're in Linwood tomorrow, just outside Seattle, Washington. You can go to observatoryproject.com to see our schedule and hopefully come say hello. Fly on the wall to be uploaded this afternoon. We'll touch on these sun diving comets, where they come from and why they trigger CMEs, among a couple other topics. If you're not a member of the site, it's a backbreaking $3 to join for a month or 20 bucks for an entire year. We humbly suggest it's worth it. Got the rest of the global storm watches and shots of our star to close. Remember folks, I don't expect much more than a glancing blow from that filament eruption days ago. Try not to let the YouTube fear mongers get you. 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.35 a.m. Local Time. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.